In the last video, we looked at how to set up a tracker to monitor the purchase intent for a product, a brand, or a service. Now let's have a look at the dashboard and how to work from it. The basis of your dashboard is that it's your workplace to analyze and track intent, and it will update automatically each month as new search data is released. You can start off by opening the search volume widget to see the trend for how intent has grown over the last 12 months. For Adidas case, we can see it's a tremendous growth in trend over the year, which is great to see. You can also switch over to the list view to see the percent change here. To understand what has driven intent for a specific month, you can always go to the related keywords widget. This will show you what was searched for the most and what was trending the most for a specific month or for the entire year. In May, for example, we can see that the sporting rich Adidas Ambas collaboration has been trending a lot this month, as well as have the Wales Bonners uh, Adidas Ambas co collaboration. We know that the intent for Adidas Sambas is growing, but how do we know that it is actually growing relative to the category? What if all other sneaker brands are growing in, in intent during summer? Well, to know that, we want to benchmark against other competitors. And to do that, we want to return to the trackers page. On the trackers page, we can add up to nine competitors. And this is also where you will go if you need to verify what keywords are actually going into your analysis. In this example, let's compare against the Nike Air Force Ones. All you have to do is type in that brand and follow the same procedure as you did last time, removing any keywords that are relevant to Nike Air Force Ones or that might include duplicates. After you've done that, just click Save again and we can check out the result. Great, now our dashboard has updated. Now, what we can see is that Adidas Sambas has a super positive trend in creating purchase intent, whereas the Nike Air Force Ones, even though they are larger, they're actually on a slight negative trend in creating purchase intent. This can be seen even clearer in the share of search widget, which shows how much intent Adidas Sambas has relative to the Nike Air Force Ones, which we can see has a very positive development over the last year. In our next video, I will show you how to select a time period where you ran a campaign to be able to show the actual impact of that campaign on creating purchase intent. Talk to you soon in the next video.